All right, this is article and video I want to share, and I'm gonna comment on it. Um, title is called "50 Cent is Being Called a Child Abuser for Boxing with His Son." So I'm gonna put the video in the description section. This video, you can read the article and see the videos yourself. But I'm gonna show the video right now, and then I'm gonna comment on it. So here it is. Get up, keep fighting. You know, put it. Alright, so then oh, I'm going to read the article, and then I'm going to comment. So it says, um, before Curtis Jackson became 50 Cent and started terrorizing foes in the mic, Curtis was an amateur boxer. The rapper's boxing day started at age 11 and got pretty serious when the neighbor opened up a boxing gym for the neighborhood kids. When I wasn't killing time in school, I was sparring in the gym or selling crack on the strip. 50 Cent once recalled about his boxing days. In the mid-1980s, a 14-year-old fifth reportedly competed in the Junior Olympics at as an amateur, but would later give up his boxing dreams to be a full-time drug dealer. Still, his love for the sport remained, and like most dads, 50 is passing down his love for the sport to the kid he's been calling his son. The rapper uploaded footage of him boxing with his fake son, Davian, with the caption, Getting My Young Bull Ready. One of the clips features Fifth getting a couple of licks in with several jabs to Davian's protected head. Things get a little intense when a powerful punch bounces Davian off a wall and nearly takes him out. Fifth urges his son to get to fight back and he does. Davian gathers his bearings and lays into his 50, 50 with several hard hitting body blows. Go ahead keep fighting 50 tells him while Davian is heard possibly sniffing. Too bad the whole father son boxing bonding session has some critics calling 50 a child abuser. He, he, he's way too fucking aggressive he's not even giving tips. This is abuse point blank period. I don't care what anyone says, he's punching the kid as if the kid is a grown man. A critic wrote in 50 Cent's Instagram comments, A few feel the punches are going to cause brain damage, writing child abuse, brain damage, and you are going to give your son a concussion and hurt his brain. However, some fans are saying 50 should be commended because he's teaching his 4-year-old son self-defense in the right way as well as discipline. Do they want us to teach our kids how to hold guns and be fuck-ups like how we were? Fuck out of here. This is what a father should be teaching the kids. I agree with teaching him to shoot when the time is right, but he got to know the knuckle game first. Was 50 a little too hard? Watch the clip below. Alright, so I just want to give my uh, feedback on that. Um, you know, I already knew before something, 
you know, before even seeing this video, I already know um, how sensitive the public is um, to children, you know. Um, in my eyes, it's um, anything you put on videos with, with children, you got to be very careful. You got to be very aware of the sensitivity of the culture and the people around you. Um, a lot of the discipline, or pretty much all the discipline verbally or physically, has to happen behind closed doors and, um, and privately. Um, this entire country is very much lacking in discipline for children. Um, a lot of families I don't know the percentage, but probably over 70%, if not more, of the families are fatherless. So the father is just not there. And there's a problem um, of the, with that, that it perpetuates into all aspects of life. So a son who doesn't have a father around, now he doesn't have respect for authority. The mother cannot play the role as a father. She just can't do it. Only the father could could serve to be the father figure in order to help the child grow to his potential. But if the father is not there, then the son's going to lack respect for all people of authority. No matter if it's the teachers from school, no matter if it's the police officer, no matter if it's the judge, He's just not going to have respect for anybody. So the father's there to instill the discipline. And this is something. Discipline and respect for authority. And this is something that has to happen behind his closed doors. Because the culture is so sensitive to this. You know, and they just can't handle it. They just don't understand. You know, we live in a culture where everybody is so spoiled. Everybody is, you know, spoon-fed. Um, and there's no harsh discipline verbally. There's no harsh discipline physically. Everybody's just, you know, um, there, there's, there's, no, there's no sort of punishment not coming from the father not coming from the police officer, not coming from the judge, not coming from the teachers. There is no there is no discipline. In America it's just all time out, you know, um there's nothing being taught. You know. And I'm really aware of how people are when it comes to children and what is important is you want to minimize children in videos all videos especially sparring videos um, my recommendation is you don't film a child sparring you just you can film it when he turns 18 but before that don't even film it you know keep it private behind closed doors and um, teach them what they need to learn but don't let it don't let the public see, you know, because it's none of their business. Um, that's the way that I see it. You know, sparring to me is like the, it's kind of like, it's very similar to the pornography industry, you know, where a child is not allowed to be in pornography, only adults are. So you have to be 18 if you want to get into that. If you want to show your your, your body um, naked to the world, um, no matter if it be pictures or videos, you need to be 18. Anything below that um, is going to be a huge crime. You know, like um, you're going to put be put to jail probably maybe the rest of your life. Um, so that's a very sensitive thing when it comes to sex and violence. They're very very much closely related, so the law does not allow any sort of sexual type of um, photographs, videos with children. 
So when it comes to sparring, it's the same concept. You need to not let them get involved with that, the, the type of hard sparring that they're doing until they're 18, not publicly. Now, if you're going to do some type of hard sparring, then it has to happen privately. Nobody knows, and you teach them what they need to learn. Um... Also with the research, you know, back then they thought, they still think probably that the headgear is going to protect you from brain damage and concussions, but it doesn't. You know, if you do your research now, you'll see that brain damage is a very serious thing and helmets do not protect you. So football helmets do not protect you. Boxing helmets do not protect you, you know, and at such a young age, those blows with the helmet on and the gloves can cause concussions, can cause brain damage very easily for younger children. Even young adults, 18, 21, are dying in boxing um, because their brains can't handle that type of damage. So that is something that I highly do not recommend. Another thing is, it's just, it, it's too, it's too, it's too much for his body physically. And another thing is, it's not even real. It's not even close to being real because in a street fight, there's not going to be those big gloves and there's not going to be headgear, you know, and there's going to be no rules. So there could be kicks and knees and whatever takedowns, it's a totally different type of sparring than boxing. So one, the sparring is unrealistic. Two, it's just very unsafe because the brain is not designed to take that type of impact. Um, another thing is, you know, 50 was delivering headshots to the child. Headshot, the, the, the child wasn't even delivering any headshots to 50, it was all to the body. If they're just hitting each other in the body, then that's fine. But the head really needs to be protected um, from heavy blows or any sort of blows. Um, the arms, the legs, the body, to, to it's designed to take more damage and then it conditions to get stronger. But the brain, if you keep hitting the brain repetitively, it does not get stronger, it gets weaker. So understand that very clearly. You know, your abs, your muscles, your legs, your forearms, they'll get stronger through conditioning, but not the brain. So you don't hit the, the head repetitively like that. Um, that's not going to be healthy. Um, there's safer ways of getting involved in more realistic type of combat. Um, even the use of Nerf guns, it's a fun way, safe way, um, and, you know, sparring with equipment or without equipment, but more light contact, very light, or touch, but you don't really um, match up unevenly um, the children, you know, you don't really put an adult with the child and have the adult go too hard. The adult has to control his techniques more. But if you have children spar amongst one another, and they're relatively the same size, same skill level, then they're not going to really hurt each other much at all because the, the, the strikes are not damaging enough. Uh, when, you, when an adult is sparring with a child, he has to be very careful of controlling his techniques so that he doesn't hurt the child too much. Um, but it's just lack of control, you know, and um, from 50. And then also just not really understanding the proper and safe way to spar. Um, as they stated, he was an amateur back then, and he's still an amateur now. You know, he's not a real professional, like, master boxer that knows how to train himself or other people in the right way in an intelligent way 
And there's a lot of people out there that aren't doing it right. Um, you have to know how to do it. You know, it takes a lot of experience. And another thing is, like I said, exploiting it to the public is something that you just don't do with the children because it is just, just going to work against you, backfire on you. Um, go ahead and show them off to the public when they're 18. So when his son turns 18 and then they spar harder with each other, then go ahead and display the video at that time. When you want to do some hard sparring demos, that's fine. Because he's 18, he's an adult. Um, but when he's a child, um, this type of hard sparring with more contact shouldn't be shared to the public. It shouldn't be filmed at all. Um, just do what you need to do, teach him what you need to teach behind closed doors. Um, and that's that, you know. But another thing that I want to bring up is that he's there for his son. His presence is there, and then the public's just criticizing him and and saying, you know, that he should go to jail because he's sparring his child, his son. And honestly, it really it shouldn't even have to be. Mad, the public's opinion shouldn't even matter. But it does, but it shouldn't. So what they're saying is, oh, you know, spar with the child, so you know, too hard. So let's put you in jail for life. And then, you got a lot of fathers out there that just aren't even there for the children. They just leave them deserted, and they just go off, never see their, never see the child ever again. They never do nothing with them. They don't play with them. They don't spar with them. They don't eat with them. They don't provide for them. They just leave. But then, they don't get put in jail. But then the father that's there for the child, that's trying to teach his child how to be better at boxing, they, the public's trying to put him in jail because he's there for his child. You know, it's just, the public is just so, you know, two-faced. You know, they're trying to say, oh, let's reward the father for just not being there at all and don't put him in jail but here's the father that is here oh he's being he's a child abuser so let's put him in jail for life you know is they're very deranged the way that they are you know and why do you think a lot of male you know why, why a lot of fathers just aren't there because when they are there, they're being criticized and they're being threatened to be put in jail for every little so-called mistake that they make. So then they just be like, you know what? I don't even care about these children anyway. I'm just, I'm bouncing. I'm out of here. And then they just leave and they never come back. And then they're just left with the mother. You know? It's like, I don't know how, you know, it's almost like you're working for a slave master and you're not even getting paid. You're working hard and you make some mistakes and then they just go off on you. And they just start yelling at you, threatening to put you in jail because of the mistakes you made. And then you're like... I'm not even getting paid. I'm your slave. And you're yelling at me, cursing at me, threatening to put me in jail. Shoot, I'm just out of here. I'm, I'm gone. I'm not coming back. That's how I feel it's like, you know. It's like you have a father who's trying to do what he's the best that he can do as a father. And then the whole public starts criticizing the way that he's raising his child saying that he's not doing it right and he should go to jail and then the father's like are you kidding me you know I've, I've been here raising this child from the beginning to be a strong person you know I could I have better things to do I can make money I could I could find more women I don't need to have children and now you're going to threaten me to put me in jail? You know what? 
F it. Let me bounce. Let me get out of here. I don't need to deal with this. That's pretty much what I see. You know, a lot of the fathers that are trying to be good fathers are being so heavily criticized and crucified. But then the fathers that just disappear, people accept that, that to be okay. So you could disappear from your child's life as a father and you'll never be put into jail. But yet, you could be put to jail for child abuse because you sparred with your child to help him get better at boxing. It's just completely outrageous the way that this culture is. So a lot of the the teachings from the father to the son have to happen in private, off camera. That's the only way that you could raise your children the right way. Because Americans, America as a whole, they don't know anything about raising a child when it comes to being there as a father figure. That's why this whole country is just so, you know, everybody's just so out of control. So many people in jail and such a lack of respect for authority. You know, and even see the president from Obama to Trump to whoever is running, you know, whoever is president or running for president, you just see so much criticism from everybody, lack of respect, and then you see all over the internet articles and videos, nobody has respect for the police, um, and the police have guns, they have bulletproof vests, they don't even have respect. So teachers in school, how are they supposed to have respect? They don't. The parents, and it all boils down to the respect for the parent at home, mainly the father. And it's not there. The, there's no respect for the father. And without that foundational respect for authority, it breaks down all respect for all sorts of authority in this culture. And that's the epidemic, that's the problem that we have. Nobody has respect for anybody. And martial arts is supposed to teach you respect. And very few people in this world know how to teach it the right way. You know, so that's what I have to say about that video.